what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're going to go ahead and talk about some call of duty specifically the new score streaks in call of duty black ops cold war before we get to that though if you haven't already do check out my multiplayer reveal video where i discuss the reality of what's coming in the next game link in the description box below furthermore don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave me a wonderful comment comment down below. In the background, you already know what time it is. Because of the topic of discussion today, I have some wonderful Call of Duty Black Ops 4 gameplay. So do enjoy that while we get through the topic of discussion today. That all being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we all are aware that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War this time around will be bringing back score streaks, not kill streaks, score streaks, and that the system as a whole this time around will be fundamentally different than we are all accustomed to. First and foremost, the score streak calculated this time around will not reset upon death. Let me say that again, it will not reset when you die. So basically, all of the score streaks this year will be support streaks. They will be accessible to all the noobs in the lobby. So definitely prepare yourself because everyone will eventually be able to get their streaks. So it's gonna be very competitive this time around and very difficult to stay alive. So just prepare yourself because I'm preparing myself. It's gonna be a rough year. Moving on, so far eight streaks have been confirmed to be in the game and they are as follows the rcxd for 600 score the spy plane for 800 score the artillery strike for 1900 score the napalm strike for 2400 score the air patrol for 2750 score the war machine for 3150 score the attack chopper for 3750 score and last but not least the chopper gunner for 6000 score if you haven't noticed when it comes to those score streaks the amount of score required for each of them is very high and that's because the score calculator doesn't reset upon death the devs are obviously using the score required for the streaks as a balancing tool this time around it doesn't appear that it's about the fun factor of the game or skill it's about balancing so i don't think that they actually care whether or not you get these streaks they just want the match to flow properly before everyone gets these streaks. You know, you can't have people having too much fun when it comes to Call of Duty. Oh no, Activision will not have it. Oh no. I digress. The way score is calculated this year will vary. The standard kills you get in any game mode will be worth approximately 50 score. Objective based actions will be worth about 100 score. And obviously, if you were to do something additionally, like for example, getting a kill while on the flag or collecting tags, etc., you would be able to get additional score associated with those actions. This time around, there is something new. They're implementing a score streak multiplier. It is exactly what you're thinking of it. The more kills you get in one life, the higher the multiplier. So as long as you stay alive, the faster you will get your score streak. This system is replacing the old system we all know and love to make sure that the game is more approachable for the new new that Activision wants a baby basically. Obviously, I dislike it, but I do see what they're doing and it is a good business move. I have to say that it is definitely a good business move. Definitely because the Call of Duty community is on life support. It has been for a while and it will continue because of skill-based matchmaking, but that's a whole nother topic of discussion. I'm gonna leave that alone. This year's game, I am keeping an open mind. I told myself no matter how bad it gets, no matter how much negative things that I find I will be keeping an open mind and will not pass judgment until I have the game and can truly call it out as astastic because I have it because I'm experiencing it as I transition throughout the game nevertheless what do you guys think about this do you guys have an opinion have you been following any of the leaks have you been following the official reveal let me know your opinions down in the comment section below I appreciate you all taking the time to watch my video please do like subscribe and definitely Definitely hit the bell for notification. Again, I appreciate you all, and I'll definitely see you guys on the next one.